In this video, I want to show you how you can anonymize Windows 10 traffic using the Hunix Gateway. I'm assuming here that you already installed Hunix and VirtualBox on your Windows 10 PC. If you want instructions on how to install Hunix and VirtualBox on your Windows 10 PC, Please take a look in the description at the video that I made earlier that will explain in details how to install this. So here, after you have Hunix and VirtualBox installed on your Windows 10 PC, you need to install Windows 10 and VirtualBox environment and reroute its traffic through the Hunix gateway. To do this, we need three things. We need first the Windows 10 ISO, and I'm going to show you how to download it. And then we need to create a Windows 10 machine into VirtualBox. And then we need to configure Windows 10 to reroute all its network traffic through the Hunix gateway. So let's start first by downloading the Windows 10 ISO. Here this step, if you already have a Windows 10 ISO that is recent, you can skip this step and go to the next one, which is creating the Windows 10 VM in VirtualBox. If you don't have a Windows 10 ISO, stick with me and I'm going to show you how we are going to download it. So open your web browser and then go to this site, microsoft.com slash software dash download slash Windows 10 and hit enter. And here you have two options, update now, and this is not the option we want. Just scroll down and you see an option called create Windows 10 installation media and then click on the download tool now. So now that the tool is downloaded, we need to open it. So click on open file. Just click yes to allow it to run. And wait for it here. This step here takes around a minute. So I'm going to accelerate the video. And then click on accept. And here you need to click on create installation media. So select this option. And then click on next. Just click on next. So click on ISO file here. And then click on next and choose where you want to save it and then click on save and the download will begin so I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes when the downloading of the Windows 10 ISO finishes just click on finish here now the next step is to create the Windows 10 virtual machine in VirtualBox so open VirtualBox and then click on new Name it whatever you want. Here I want to name it Windows 10 Hunix. And for the type, make sure that you select Microsoft Windows if it's not selected automatically. And then for the version, make sure also that you're selecting Windows 10 64-bit. And then click Next. If your host machine allows it, give it more RAM. It's always better. Here I have a PC with 16 GB of RAM, so I can give it 4 GB. Click Next. And then for creating a virtual hard drive now, click Create. And then keep the default selection, which is VDI. And then click on Next. And also keep it on dynamically allocated. Click on Next. And for the hard drive size, I advise you to give it more than 50 gigabytes. So I'm going to give it 80 gigabytes. Click on create. And the virtual machine is created. So now we have to make some settings to the virtual machine in order to reroute its network traffic through the Honix gateway. So make sure Windows 10 is selected and then click on settings. Under system, you see that for processor, it is given the virtual machine like by default only one CPU. It's always better to give it two CPUs. And then the most important thing here is the network. So click on network. And then for attached to, click the drop down arrow here and select internal network. And Hunix, if it's not selected by default, select Hunix. And then there is still one thing that we need to adjust here, which is the storage. And this one here, this is the optical drive. So click on it. And then on the right here, 
click on the drop down arrow and then choose choose create a virtual optical disk and here you need to click on add choose the windows 10 iso and then click on open and then here make sure you select it and then click on choose at this stage here you need to click on ok so now we need to start the virtual machine and install windows 10 there are some specificities that i'm gonna show you when the installation is being done so make sure windows 10 is selected then click on start so this is the windows 10 setup so click on next and then click on install now and then here if you have a product key put it here here i'm not gonna put the product key so i'm gonna click i don't have a product key choose the windows 10 edition that you have a product key for so click on next after you choose your windows 10 edition i'm gonna click on accept the license terms click on next and here it's important to choose custom because this is the first installation of this machine and leave everything by default click on next so i'm gonna accelerate the video now and i'm gonna come back when this initial phase of the setup finishes and here i'm gonna click on restart now to restart the machine of course you can wait for it also to restart by itself and don't here press any key because windows should start from the virtual hard disk now so it will restart once again so I'm gonna mute Cortana now. Here also choose your language. I'm gonna choose the region United States. Yes. And for my keyboard, it is QWERTY US. I don't want to add another keyboard, so I'm gonna click on skip. And here it's very important not to connect to any network. So click on the bottom left here. I don't have internet. And this will force Windows to let you create a local account. So I'm going to click here once again on continue with limited setup. And here is Windows presenting us with the screen to create a local account. So because the purpose of this video is to use Windows anonymously, create a local account that is generic. So here I'm just going to simply create an account called user. And then click on next. I'm not going to give it a password now. Click on next. Of course, if you want to give it a password, go ahead. And here also, I'm going to turn off all these for privacy purposes. And I advise you also to do the same for this virtual machine. So when you turn off everything, click on accept. And here for Cortana, I don't want to use it. So I clicked on not now. Give it a moment to finish. And now the initial setup finished and you'll notice that we don't have internet access. And this is normal because we connected the virtual machine to the internal network of Phoenix and we didn't yet configure Windows 10 to reroute the traffic through the Phoenix gateway. Before doing this, I'm going to install the virtual machine additions of VirtualBox. So I clicked on devices here and then simply click on insert guest addition CD image and now the CD image is inserted open explorer and then go to this PC and double click the CD drive let me close this one here and here simply I'm gonna double click on VBox Windows additions AMD 64 click on yes if prompted and then click on next next install so this will give you a better experience of using windows 10 here under virtual box click on install here and the machine needs to be rebooted so keep reboot now selected and click on finish it will reboot and now we can increase the size of the window because we installed the virtual machine additions of virtual box as you see now we can see better so now at this stage we need to configure the ipv4 of windows 10 here to reroute the traffic through the hunix gateway so i'm gonna switch to virtual box 
and you see here that I already started the Honix Gateway and the Honix Workstation. So let's switch first to the Honix Gateway. It is here. So this is Honix Gateway. We need to get the IP configuration from it. Open the terminal window and key in slash sbin slash if config and hit enter. And you see here under Ethernet 1, this is the IP v4 of the gateway, and this is the subnet mask, and this here also will be the default gateway. So keep it open. Let me put it here. And let's switch now to the workstation. And we need to switch to the workstation just to make sure that we don't give the same IP address of the workstation to Windows 10. Otherwise, we'll have an IP conflict if we are running the three machines, all of them together. So here simply let me get the IP address of the workstation as I did for the gateway. And you see here that the workstation is taking the IP address of 10.152.152.11. So now we don't need the workstation anymore. And we know that we can give for the Windows 10 machine any IP that is 10.152.152.12, 13, 14, 15, any of these. The important thing is that it should be under the subnet mask of this here. So this is a class B subnet mask, which is slash 18. So let me minimize the workstation. And let's now go to the Windows 10 machine and configure its IP. And you're going to see as soon as I finish configuring the IP of the Windows 10 machine, we'll have internet connection. So to do this, click on the Windows logo here, click on settings, and choose network and internet. And here under Ethernet, click on properties. And for IP assignment, click on edit. Click on the drop down arrow here. Select manual. Enable IPv4. And for the IP address, so click here. And give it the IP address 10.152.152. I'm going to give it 14. And the subnet prefix length, remember that under subnet mask, I told you that this is slash 18. It's a class B here. So just put here 18. And for the gateway, it should be the same as the IP address of the Hunix gateway. So it is 10.152.152.10. And for the DNS server, it is the same as the gateway. So 10.152.152.10. And you'll see here, as soon as I click on save, we will have our internet connection. So let me click on save. And here we are connected to the network now, connected to the internet. So here, click on yes. So you see here now that we have an internet connection. So it says internet access. So let's start Edge now and perform a DNS leak test. So when Edge starts, simply key in DNS leak test. And this test will show us where our IP address is being rerouted. And you see here that I have like a complete different IP address than the one that my ISP gave me. So click on standard test here. And you see that my IP is being rerouted through the United States. So let's just open here any website. Let's open MSN just to show you that the internet is working. And now we are browsing the web anonymously through Windows 10. Just remember that to access the internet from your Windows 10 machine, the Honix gateway should always be running. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.